I'll be walking you through the basics of um, creating a 3D model, 3D football model using a Blender version 2.56. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is clear the 3D cube that's uh, default in the blender and I'm going to add a UV sphere and I'm going to rotate the sphere along the uh, y-axis in order to or oops, not the y-axis along the um, x-axis in order to uh, to uh, use the vertices points Alright, uh, next I'm going to scale it along the y-axis, and this is going to create a, somewhat of an oval feature, and to make this more realistic, like a football, uh, next I'm going to go to the uh, edit mode, and I'm going to use the proportional editing tool, enable it, and make sure it's in the smooth mode. And I'm going to select the vertices at the tip of the uh, oval. And as you can see, the proportional editing tool is um, applies to everything that's inside of the white circle once you select the point and uh, drag. And I'm going to do that to both sides. Right click. Alright. Now that I have that taken care of. Um, I'm going to uh, go into the face select mode and make it uh, the limited selection visible. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to add the seams to the football. So I'm going to break this football and scale and extrude it into four, between four different quarters of it. So, uh, oh, and then you're also going to want to go ahead and uh, turn off this proportional editing tool at this time. E key, enter, and then I'm going to hit Alt-S, and let's make this value uh, 0 0.04. Okay, deselect with the A key, and continue uh, selecting these faces, the remaining faces of the four quarters. E key, enter, Alt S, 0 0.04, A key to deselect, B, and I'm selecting the borders with the B key, in case you weren't aware. Uh, e key, enter, Alt S, 0 0.04, and then last but not least, B, and just make sure, you know, I'm zooming in to make sure all of my uh, desired uh, faces are selected, and the, due to the, I'm um, using the border selection, you know, it's not effective as clicking, point and click each uh, individual face. But uh, go ahead, E key, enter, Alt S, 0 
Okay. And now you have the seams that were uh, also uh, entered into your shape of the football. Um, I'm going to go ahead and smooth this out. And then I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier right here. And if you can see, you have um, somewhat of a divot coming to the end of where the um, particular seams are meeting. What I'm going to do is grab this, um, the ring, the all key. I'm going to go into edge select, edge select mode, the alt key in order to select it. And I'm going to want to use the um, uh, control E and edge slide and this will be used to close the divot scale it down there we go and we're going to go ahead and do the same on the opposite side uh, all key Alt key and uh, control E, edge slide, close this divot. All right. And now that you've taken care of that, you have the shape of the football nice and uh, nice and modified. So now what we're going to want to do is go ahead and add these seams to a uh, Give your football more realistic completion. I'm gonna go to the top, and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add um, a cube. I'm gonna scale down to make for the seams. Uh, I'm gonna scale this along the x x axis. Scale it down along the y as well as the z axis. Scale around the z. Uh, top view. Try to go ahead and find a centralized point just to go ahead and start this off. Move it up to the top. Put that right in the middle. And, uh, Oops, 
cancel. I'm trying to do is rip this right here. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to use the um, Shift D key. Controls. Shift D and uh, spread out these uh, lysis that I'll be using for the football. Shift D. 